Hey everybody, I'm Rob Freeman, and this week we are talking about energy storage, which is being deployed across the U.S. in a wide variety of applications, everything from electric vehicles to use in commercial buildings for things like peak shaving and uh, demand response systems to help building owners save money on their electricity or even go off the grid entirely and become like a microgrid for the building owners. But uh, it can be difficult to get insurance, proper insurance for uh, energy storage systems because of a hazard known as thermal runaway. And uh, thermal runaway is a situation that happens with lithium ion batteries when the heat builds up inside them faster than it can be dissipated. And the result is that the batteries start to off gas and then they can catch fire or even explode. And that problem uh, scares insurers. It causes insurers to take a step back to pause and say, you know, do I really want to insure this situation if the insured is not taking proper precautions to make sure that the energy storage system is installed correctly and that they have the right risk management controls in place. <clears throat> and there's a company called FM Global, which is doing a lot of interesting work in the uh, evaluation and analysis of energy storage systems when it comes to fire suppression and best practices for building out uh, energy storage systems in buildings at small, medium, and large scales. And uh, below this video, I'll link to another video from FM Global that shows a, an example of an energy storage system, a rack, that um, it sh confirmed that basically if one cell in a rack of many uh, lithium ion batteries catches fire, or starts the thermal runaway process, I should say, it's enough to catch the all the other batteries in the rack if it's not caught early, and hence the term thermal runaway. It, the one cell in a rack for energy of an energy storage system will start that overheating process either due to thermal or electrical or mechanical or physical damage and then it catches on, it heats up so much that it catches on fire and causes all the other batteries in the rack to catch fire as well. And they can burn for hours or days even. And this is what causes insurers to take a step back and uh, really take a hard look at the uh, insured that they're working with, not only on the manufacturing and technology side, but also on the implementation and the deployment side. So uh, anyway, the FM Global has put together a series of recommendations or really observations that they come up with as a result of these tests that they've done. And I link to it below the video. It comes down a lot of it in the case, and I've talked about this in earlier videos, about construction, occupancy, protection, and exposure. Those four variables for property insurance uh, known as COPE, C-O-P-E. And they basically look to say, okay, well, the battery system should be installed a certain way according to manufacturer's guidelines. It should be built in a fireproof setting. Uh, it should be separated from other energy systems, energy storage systems, um, by at least a certain amount of space, distance between them. Uh, it should be separated from um, flammable and non-flammable objects by a certain amount. Um, sprinkler systems should be used. Those are also ideal uh, based on FM Global's uh, guidelines. And um, so really, uh, it's just kind of interesting that they're, that they're continuing to do this and the findings are gonna continue to evolve uh, as FM Global continues with this research. But uh, anyway, if you're in the process of working on a deployment of a battery energy storage system and you're having trouble getting insurance for that, uh, please feel free to schedule an appointment with me. Uh, I specialize in this type of work and I'd love to hear about your project and love to talk to you. So thanks again. I hope this is helpful and uh, have a great day.